is good, Poker fans. This is Spanky, and today we have the articulated Requaza. It doesn't matter apparently which language you speak, French or Espanol. It's called Requaza, and is the Pokemon Select figure. And I've only found them at Target, and they are fully articulated. I will have review on all these series one um, select figures, and if you watch other reviews, I've already done like series three, and I think series four is coming out soon, so I'll definitely have a review on those. And so far, I've loved these figures. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure I'm going to love, but fingers crossed. I've loved them all so far. They've all been amazing. So, I think I'm going to love this one too, but it, it's in package, it's looking kind of weak. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. Let's open it up. Alright, so I've officially released Rayquaza from his plastic prison. First impressions. The mold and... Paint applications are not bad. I'm not seeing any major defects. It looks pretty good. Uh, playing with it, I have noticed, and I, I thought every single one of the pieces are going to be articulated, but they're not. So, this piece, 360 swivel, no swivel there, no swivel here, no swivel on either of these parts. We will get a swivel here, which is where the base is going to connect. No swivel here. No swivel there. <laughs> no swivel here. This is kind of this is really disappointing. And wow, I'm not even getting a swivel at the head, but there is. Wait, isn't there? Man, that's a tough joint right there. Okay, so you do get a joint right here at the head, where you can look up and down. Let's see if you can. And it's very tough, but kind of. I don't. I don't want to force it, but he can do a little bit right there I don't want to force it much more than I already have so all you're really gonna get is this joint up and down right here but so a lot of these parts on here are not articulated on his body his arms though do seem fully articulated um, wow this is gonna be the first one without finger articulation so I just uh, previously opened up the Articuno and each of the fingers are articulated this one none of the fingers articulated you do get a little joint here so I know it's, I'm sorry the way I have it. it's kind of hard to see but there you go um, let's try this hand it might be a little better oh wow I don't have the right the joint facing the right way so maybe there I'll, I'll turn it this way for you but you might have already seen it so that's it's gonna go like that and this arm can go like that and then we'll get a swivel here near the shoulder and the shoulder should have more than just up and down Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. This may be all you get out of the shoulder. Um, these joints, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to sound too negative, and I'm not trying to harp on this Rayquaza figure too much, but hey, they're they're really stiff, which is good. These are really good, stiff joints overall, which is a positive. Um, but obviously articulation is very limited and I don't want to force it much more than I am right now but I'm not getting any type of swivel here at the base on the shoulders nope that's, that's on both of them I don't want to force it more I'm just gonna assume that that this is all you're gonna get kind of is a forward-facing kind of shoulder joint so like the rest of these Pokemon select figures you're gonna get a really good sturdy base I know you can hear that. It comes out easily, but it's it's very sturdy. I mean, it's good. It's gonna hold the poses very well, so it's gonna hold very heavy figures, such as this Rayquaza, very well, and it's not gonna move in your detoff or display. So this has by far been my most disappointing Pokemon Select figure by Jazzwares, uh, and I know it's 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 a pretty difficult Pokemon to kind of recreate. recreate with articulation and I've already gone through articulation not every piece is articulated and where it kind of comes into play and difficulty is the base so I've kind of got it in this pose here and the base is is very sturdy like all the other bases but unfortunately at where it connects to Rayquaza is it it's very loose and I haven't had any of these problems with any other figures and that's just going to be with the, the, the dynamics of the figure itself. And I'm going to try to get it into a good pose here. And, and maybe if you leave it by itself, it's going to be fine. But a slight touch and he's fallen. 
my next gripe is going to be the scale. And I know this doesn't affect everyone equally, um, but as collectors, I know there are some people who worry about scale. Um, from memory, I know that Mariquaza should be much bigger than Articuno. And obviously you can see is Articuno almost even seems bigger than the Rayquaza. And these are both Pokemon select figures. Now looking at um, uh, what side am I on? The, the Bulbadia Garden. Um, the official Pokemon stats is that the height of Rayquaza should be um, 7 meters as, as non-Mega. So, and it should weigh... 455 pounds now let's look at Articuno so Articuno is only 1.7 meters and 122 pounds now I know 7 meters for Rayquaza means you know its whole body including you know its tail and the 1.7 meters for Articuno probably just includes you know head to, head to toe but I mean, any dummy can see that that it's not to scale. Here's the Sidui next to Articuno, and according to Bulpedia, he is 1.6 meters high, which is almost equivalent to the 1.7, which Articuno is officially described as height-wise. So, the scale isn't totally off, but as you can see when we get to figures such as Rayquaza, the scale may be a little messed up. Because I guess we all, and me personally, I don't think I'm alone, Rayquaza should be a much bigger figure than Articuno, and Articuno is looking like a much more fit, massive figure. There, there's going to be some people who are looking for scale figures. Personally, I'm just looking for great figures. And this Rayquaza, while it is a good figure, I don't think it is a great figure compared to the rest of Selects that I've opened. It's kind of just a subpar figure. Is it worth $20-$25? I would say definitely yes, you're getting your bang for your buck because there's definitely not many Rayquaza figures out there floating around. Um, with the minor defects, you know, I think those can be overlooked when you set them aside um, regarding the price. So, for the price and what you're getting, I think you're actually getting a really good Rayquaza figure um, as a kid collector, if you're going to give them to your kid, and I think you're getting a good figure if you're collecting as an adult such as myself, I'm not going to give this away or sell it. I think, it just, I think it's going to look really good on my Detolf next to some other select figures. I just think it's just a little underwhelming. That's all. But other than that, I thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Be safe. Peace.